What specific problem does the new method or algorithm aim to solve regarding image and video generation using large language models? The new method aims to address the challenges associated with discretizing continuous data for image and video generation using large language models, LLMs. Traditional approaches such as vector quantization, VQ, require complex tokenizer training and a two-stage learning process, which complicates model adaptation and flexibility. Additionally, methods like image GPT face prohibitive sequence length limitations when generating higher resolution images. By utilizing canonical codecs like JPEG for images and AVCH. 264 for videos, the proposed approach simplifies the discretization process, allowing for end-to-end -end training without the complications of vision-specific modules. This results in a more efficient and effective model, as demonstrated by the superior performance of JPEG-LM and AVC-LM in generating realistic images and videos compared to existing VQ-based models. How does the proposed method or algorithm work? Illustrate step-by-step, -step, including how the encoding and decoding processes function with JPEG and AVC codecs. The proposed method utilizes canonical codecs, specifically JPEG for images and AVCH 264 for videos, to simplify the autoregressive generation process in large language models, LLMs. First, during the encoding process, images are converted into a discrete 1D representation using JPEG, which involves three main steps, discrete cosine transform, DCT, to convert image patches, quantization to remove less perceptible high-frequency patterns, and entropy coding to compress the data further. For videos, AVC operates on macro blocks of frames, employing intraframe and interframe predictions to encode patches, followed by a similar DCT quantization and bitstream encoding process. Once the data is encoded into JPEG or AVC tokens, the LLM is trained to model the probability of these tokens autoregressively allowing it to generate new sequences of tokens that can be decoded back into images or videos. The decoding process involves reversing the encoding steps, where the generated tokens are processed through the respective codec to reconstruct the original visual content, enabling the generation of high-quality images and videos without the complications associated with traditional vector quantization methods. Can you come up with a simple yet illustrative example of how JPEG-LM generates an image from a given prompt? Walk through the main algorithm steps with this example. JPEG-LM generates an image by modeling the probability of JPEG tokens given a sequence of previously generated tokens. For example, if the prompt is a partial image of a landscape, JPEG-LM first processes this input to extract JPEG tokens, which represent the image in a compressed format. The model then uses its autoregressive architecture to predict the next token in the sequence based on the provided prompt, effectively generating the next part of the image. This process continues iteratively, with JPEG-LM sampling and appending new tokens until the entire image is reconstructed. Finally, the generated sequence of JPEG tokens is decoded back into a visual format resulting in a complete image that reflects the initial prompt. What are the theoretical or practical benefits of using JPEG-LM and AVC-LM compared to existing methods like VQ-based models and image GPT? The theoretical and practical benefits of using JPEG-LM and AVC-LM over existing methods like VQ-based models and image GPT are significant. Firstly, JPEG-LM and AVC-LM utilize canonical codecs, JPEG for images and AVCH. 264 for videos, as non-neural preprocessors, which simplifies the discretization process and avoids the complexities associated with vector quantization VQ methods, such as sophisticated tokenizer training and a two-stage learning process. This results in a more straightforward, end-to-end -end training pipeline that enhances flexibility for downstream adaptations. Secondly, 
JPEG-LM demonstrates superior performance in generating high-quality images, achieving an average of 31% reduction in FID scores compared to VQ-based models, particularly excelling in capturing long-tail elements like human faces and small text characters. Additionally, AVC-LM effectively generates videos with realistic movements, showcasing the capability of these models to handle multimodal data efficiently. Overall, the use of canonical codecs allows for a more efficient representation of visual data, significantly mitigating sequence length limitations and enhancing the model's generality and effectiveness. How was the efficacy of JPEG-LM and AVC-LM validated or tested? Discuss the experimental design, datasets used, and performance metrics. The efficacy of JPEG-LM and AVC-LM was validated through a series of experiments involving qualitative and quantitative evaluations. JPEG-LM was pre-trained using 23,256 by 256 images, while AVC-LM was pre-trained on 2,256 by 144 videos, with both models utilizing byte pair and coding BPE to create their respective vocabularies. The performance metrics included Frechet Inception Distance FID, scores, which were calculated by comparing generated images and videos against validation datasets, specifically ImageNet 1K and FFHQ, in a zero-shot setup. The results consistently showed that JPEG-LM outperformed the VQ transformer and other baseline models across various prompting ratios, particularly excelling in generating long-tail visual elements. Additionally, qualitative analyses demonstrated that AVC-LM could effectively capture realistic movements in video generation, further supporting the model's efficacy. What specific results were achieved with JPEG-LM, particularly in terms of FID scores and the generation of long-tail elements in images? JPEG-LM achieved significant results in image generation, surpassing strong vector quantization VQ models by an average of 31% reduction in FID scores, indicating improved generation quality. In quantitative analyses, JPEG-LM demonstrated a statistically significant correlation between its performance and the frequency of image classes, excelling particularly in generating long-tail elements, those less frequently represented in training data. The model showed better performance in generating small but perceptible visual concepts, such as human faces and text characters, which are often challenging for VQ models. Specifically, JPEG-LM maintained robustness in generating these long-tail elements, achieving superior FID scores compared to VQ transformers, especially for classes with lower internet frequency. Overall, JPEG-LM's architecture and approach allowed it to effectively capture and generate complex visual details that are critical for long-tail distributions.